Staying in touch with your clients on the, in this, inside the E-Edge system is very simple. Um, there are pre-built drip campaigns already in here, such as the 12 Direct, the 8x8, the 33 Touch, things you've read about in the Red Book, and uh, they're just waiting for you to automate them. There are a few steps that you have to take to get there, but it's very easy. So inside mykw.kw.com, once you log in, you're going to see this and click on New Leads, um, and that will take you into the dashboard where uh, you can create your own drip campaign or you can um, use one of the existing drip campaigns that has been pre-built for you. All of the drip campaigns that are pre-built, however, are customizable. So if you don't like a couple of the emails or you want to reword a few things, you can do that. Inside the dashboard, roll over to create marketing and then go down and click on create new campaign. This takes you in here and it shows you there's 57 results. That means there's 57 different campaigns. Now, notice that this is an email only campaign, okay? But the same thing happens when you come down here, you got 12 direct, this is multi-channel. So there's emails, there's direct mails, there's phone calls, and then down here, print, that's uh, direct mail only. So three different versions of the same campaign. So you're gonna go through here and you're gonna see a lot of things that look the same, but just know that they're all different. So read everything here. Um, one of my favorite campaigns that's in here is the 33 Touch Home Ownership Matters, that right here. And when you're given the option, always use the HTML Optimize campaign. If you're using an image-based uh, program or an image-based um, drip campaign and someone that's receiving the email does not have images turned on in their mail client, they won't see the message you're trying to do it. HTML offers text and images, so that way if they have the images turned off, they can still get the message you're trying to get across to them. So I'm going to choose this one, 33 Touch Home Ownership Matters. We know it's 33 touches, however, there's only four email steps and four activity steps, which means there's eight touches left of the 33 touches. Why am I not seeing all 33? Well, it's because um, it's because uh, it starts at a certain point in the year and ends in a certain point in the year. So there are only eight more before this campaign restarts because it is a date-driven campaign. So um, you know, just don't let that throw you off and know that they will receive the steps that they haven't gotten yet just because you're starting uh, towards the end of the campaign. So um, step one allows you to rename the campaign. No need to do that unless you really want to. Um, step two, review and configure steps. So here's where you can actually see the emails and click on that email and look at it to see what it looks like. And um, it's going to bring this up. It's got somebody else's contact info in here. Don't let that throw you off. Um, this is just a template, a design. Your contact info will automatically populate to these things. So um, I like the looks of that, but I want to change something. So let's click Personalize, and it's going to take you into the editor so that you can actually change the email. Um, because my headshot does not automatically populate, I'm going to click on that, and immediately over here my image library pops up. My headshot is here. Click on my headshot. Now it puts it right in there. So now I like it. Now if you wanted to change the way these sentence sounds, uh, these sentences sound, you can come in here and fix this up and uh, move the cursor around, do whatever. But I like the way it is now, so I'm going to save it. Morgan strategy. Of course, it already exists. Why wouldn't it? That would make things way too easy. <clears throat> so it's saving that, and now that it's saved, we're going to exit out. And I like the rest of the steps. Notice that there are a couple of steps that says that you can't personalize it. This month in real estate is always um, going to be populated from KW International. Uh, it just has a lot of stats and figures uh, generically based on the entire country. So um, you can't change those. There are activities in here. Obviously, you're not going to change those. But I like the way these look, so I'm going to save and continue. Now you add or remove contacts. Okay, You can add one contact at a time by clicking on the red add button next to their name, um, but that gets a little tedious if you've got a couple hundred contacts that you want to deal with. So if you've done what you should do, which is put your contacts in groups, you can add groups to these campaigns. And today I'm going to add people from the beer club into this campaign. Now it shows only 13 eligible contract contacts are available. These are all the people in my group um, called beer club. So I'm going to add all eligible contacts. That will put all 13 of the Beer Club people in here, and you can see that moves over to the right, and then I'm going to click Save and Continue. Last step is to review and activate number four. All you have to do 
is click here to say that you've reviewed the campaign and its recipients and that you didn't purchase the list of email addresses from a dark alley somewhere, um, but that they actually agree to receive emails from you. So, um, and then you have the option of including showcase properties. I don't do that, but um, that's really up to you. Showcase properties are defined by you. So within your own listings, you have to make sure that the showcase properties are actually active. Um, I don't do it because I like to send them things out of my direct uh, MLS straight out of our MLS. So um, what you would do now if you're ready to start sending, which we saw up here the next step in step two is scheduled for February 2nd. Okay, so I know that even if I start it today, no one's going to get anything until February 2nd. Now, if I'm not ready because there's a couple more people I want to add to it, I can just save the campaign. Okay, either way. Um, you can get started at any time. So activate campaigns does it now and uh, save campaign will save it for a later date. All I have to do is come back in here, click review and activate, check the box and click activate campaign. And you can do this with any of these campaigns. They all work the same. Um, and if there's direct mail involved, it will give you uh, an idea of how much it'll cost to send them. You can send them through the eEdge system or you can print them and do them yourself. So I hope this helps on uh, getting your contacts in and activating a pre-built drip campaign. Have a great day.